started out terrible. Then the Red Wings gave me hope. And then it went back to being terrible. Nijelkovic, he goaltended a great game. He was great. He was great. I, he did let in four goals, and probably only one of them I would put on him. And that was the one where they were behind the net, and he went all in on that. It used to be his right side, on his right side, and then they wrapped around on the other side and were able to get it in. As he was moving over, got through the five hole. Um, that's the only one I put on him just because... You shouldn't you shouldn't go all in on one side when the guy hasn't even moved yet from where they're battling for the puck. But other than that, I mean, you had that one where it deflected off of that Stars player's stick. I forget his name. It deflected off his stick into the goal. That one, that one's just tough. It's too too fast for the goalie to react to, and there's really nothing a defenseman can do there. That that's just a tough spot to be in. The other two, because the fifth one was an empty netter, the other two were completely on our defense, just being lazy and not knowing where to be, not being at the right place at the right time, just not doing their job. Not doing their job correctly. And it led to Dallas scoring. Our offense was okay. It was okay. My main thing that uh, got me this game, Lucas Raymond, I like you. I like you. But there are definite growing pains that I saw. When you're in front of the net, two both times, when he was in front of the net, and he hesitated to shoot that puck, and he's done that a few other times this year, it's very indicative that he has only been in the league for few games well, not, I guess not a few games anymore like 18 games it's just he tries to fake out the goalie when he's three feet in front of the net which it's better to just shoot it because when you're three feet in front of the net the element of surprise is what gets the goalie it, the, the whole having way less time to react to whatever you shoot that's what gets the goalie it's the one, like, as soon as that's on your stick, boom, shoot it. Typically, you go to whatever side seems more uncovered, which is split-second decision. But I'd rather make you, I'd rather have you make a split-second decision and get it wrong than try and fake out the goalie three feet in front of the net, which more times is going to not do anything. Whereas if you just react, boom, 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 usually that actually goes well, uh, historically. So, and there there were two times that I saw him just hesitate and not make the smartest move in front of the net. And that's what really stood out for me from him this game. That whole Larkin thing, I'm I don't like that Larkin's getting injured a lot. Yeah, it really sucks. Some of it we can't do anything about it about it. Some of it we can. We need to stop. The NHL needs to start taking action on dirty hits. This one today was not from a dirty hit, I don't think. But it's still continuing where Larkin's just taking dirty hits and it could lead to injuries and I don't like it. And the NHL doesn't take action. But then when players try to take matters in their, into their own hands with the fights and stuff, which is what you're supposed to do, the refs break up fights before they can even happen. So it just makes no sense what what what's supposed to happen with these dirty hits. Because the NHL only enforces rules on dirty hits if a star player gets injured because of it. Uh, that's the only reason. That's the only time that the NHL does something. This game just sucked. I'll see you guys next time. As always, I'm not funny, and we did have a wild card spot before this. I know it's early in the season, but we did have a wild card spot before this. But I don't know if that's gonna be there tomorrow. See you guys next time. Just got unlucky with on a few plays tonight. You know. One of those one of those plays, I thought he was standing still, but he just hit the shit out of that one guy and the guy went flying, they blew the whistle and they called it on him.